Hey guys, welcome back to the Design Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. So in today's video, I'm gonna be machining a Holly carburetor adapter plate uh, for a square bore Holly carburetor. And this is for my good friend, Russ. Uh, now he owns a, an Australian muscle car that was made by General Motors Holden back in the day and it's a Holden Monaro. I don't exactly know which model it is. It's either HK or HT, it's a two door one. And it's powered by a 350 Chev. You can buy these adapter plates, but this is just a, I thought I'd do a YouTube video out of it. And uh, Russ's adapter plate needs to be spot on. So he wants an a eight millimeter, which is roughly five sixteenths uh, thick uh, adapter plate. So guys, to model this part, I used Autodesk Fusion 360. Now I just did some reverse engineering concepts. I, Russ had a old adapter plate. I put some uh, Dicom layout fluid on it. I scribed in some lines so I could get my angles and widths and that sort of thing and I literally just drew half of it and then mirrored it across to the other side. Uh, once that was done, guys, simple extrusion, and then what I did is uh, selected the top face and put my holes in and made sure the holes were the right uh, bolt pattern. Now, to can the part, really, really simple, guys. Uh, common basic 2D strategies, uh, facing cycle, uh, 2D adaptive, 2D contour, uh, circular interpolation, so a boring cycle to get those holes out to the right size. Um, it really, really simple, guys. And of course, flip the part and buzz the hat off it and uh, do a uh, deburr uh, chamfer cleanup. Now, when I first ran this part, I ran it very aggressively, guys. I up the, I kept the step over in the 2D adaptive at approximately 40%, and I up the feed rate. Now, the, the, the spindle held on; it did feel the load. Let me tell you, the uh, the load was up there. I ran the part, I dropped the step over back uh, roughly about 20, 25% and then I upped the feed rate even more. There were stages there where I was pushing it at, at 2100 millimetres per minute. So guys, let's uh, flip over to the footage now. Let's look at this uh, cutout and uh, I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy the video guys. So stick with me and uh, it'll be really good.
So guys, what did you think of that? Um, trust you enjoyed the video. Uh, I was really satisfied with the part. It came out looking trick. Uh, the customer was happy as well. Uh, too bad if he wasn't because he didn't pay for it. <laughs> it was a love job for a mate. But anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, this week, guys, I'd like to give a little shout out to a couple of people. And uh, one is Dave from uh, Neo CNC, and the other is Sam from uh, CNC 4X R7. And uh, of course, Mike, Blue Hands Video. Uh, g'day, mate, how are you going? So uh, these guys always support me uh, and back me as well and uh, always comment on my videos, guys. And uh, there's a special shout out I wanna to give today as well to, uh, to Jason over at uh, Nerdly. Uh, Jason and I have been, become pretty good friends uh, via the internet and chat regularly. And uh, Jason's always given me a couple of plugs on his channel, so I'm just returning the favor, buddy. And uh, Jason's also got a style coming, I believe he's got a, a little X5 coming to do some parts. But uh, Jason's also got a Super Mini Milk 2 and an EDM machine. He's, he's, uh, really starting to tool up some really fancy equipment. So uh, I suggest you watch uh, Jason as well, guys. Alrighty, and uh, look, every week I'll try and give a shout out, guys. As you know, if you're a YouTuber, uh, it's really hard to gain momentum and get a following. And I think if more, more and more of us support each other and give each other a shout out from time to time, this will help to grow our channels as well, guys. So each week now I'll try and give a shout out to some well-known ones and also some, some less known ones as well. Alrighty, so thanks again for joining in, guys. As always, please subscribe, click that bell, and uh, leave a comment below. Love talking to you guys, okay? Love the support you give me. Uh, catch you on the next video. Cheers. Hey, if you're looking for something to do this weekend here in Melbourne, why not pop down to the Melbourne Society of Model and Experimental Engineers? They have an exhibition on this Saturday and Sunday, which is being held at the South Oakley College. I'll be there this Saturday, so come down and say good day. You never know, you may even bump into me and my lovely wife.